welcome to this look at the dining options currently available on board Norwegian Breakaway. We will kick right off with the complimentary offerings and this one is Shanghai's Noodle Bar. If you'd like a change from the main dining room or the buffet, then this complimentary venue on the aft of Deck 7 near the casino and Bliss Ultra Lounge may be the choice for you. Featuring Chinese cuisine, you can get the likes of egg fried rice, spring rolls, chow mein, and lots of other different options available. It was a delicious alternative on my cruise. Up next then in the complimentary range of restaurants on board is the ever popular Oceans. This 24-7 venue is always popular. It has a separate breakfast menu and late night menu as well as an all day menu right the way through. Choices are limited at early hours and at breakfast time but all other times there is a full menu and yes it's complimentary and yes it is open 24 hours a day. So again like Shanghai's if you want to change from the main dining room or the buffet then you can come here and eat to your heart's content. If you fancy chicken wings at 4am this place has got you. Next up then are a couple of cruise staples. So there are three main dining rooms on board. The largest of the three is the Manhattan Room and that is based on the aft of Deck 7. You will find a stage where bands perform in the evening for about an hour. So if you'd like to be entertained while you dine, then this is the place to come. If you'd like a smaller, more intimate setting, then Taste and Savour, both on the aft of Deck 6, are available open for breakfast and also open for lunch on sea days and also dinner every evening. The menus in both Taste, Savour and the Manhattan Room are exactly the same every evening. Up on deck 15 then, another cruise favourite, the buffet. It has outdoor space, so if you're struggling to find a seat indoors, you should be able to find one outside. And there's also plenty of indoor seating. If you ever struggle to find a seat, I would always recommend you head right to the very back of the buffet area. There are often seats available in the aft. Open for breakfast, lunch, afternoon tea and dinner. This venue is open for most of the day. If you don't want the formality of going to the main dining room, then this is the place for you to come. Before we hit the next venue then, please do consider subscribing to the channel. I really would appreciate it. It helps me to grow and bring you new content just like this. And if you've enjoyed, then please do give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, then do drop them below. And please don't forget to share this content also. Moving on to the four fee venues on board then. And there is plenty of choice on board Norwegian Breakaway. We'll start with a couple of smaller venues on deck eight. Rule Bar and Wasabi. At Rule Bar, you'll find the likes of Prudo dishes, Tartar and the Seafood Platter. Whilst at Wasabi, you'll find some high quality sushi. And that then leads us on to Ocean Blue, the highly recommended seafood restaurant on board. You can dine indoors as well as outside, so you can watch the sunset whilst you're enjoying your fresh fish or lobster. There are three further venues for you to eat for a fee on Deck 8. We'll start at the forward of Deck 8, and that is La Cucina, the dedicated Italian-themed restaurant on board. Really good quality food. If you like your Italian pasta, pizza, then this is the place for you. Really top-notch dining. As with all of these remaining four-fee restaurants, not only can you choose to dine as part of the speciality dining package, whether you've booked two or seven meals, you can use that. Or if you choose to instead, you can also dine and pay a la carte pricing instead. And on the aft of the ship, we have two further specialty restaurants. On the left, you have Moderno and on the right, you have Cagney's. And in the middle, you have Prime Meridian Bar. So if you want to visit either restaurant and you fancy a pre or post dinner drink, 
uh, Prime Meridian Bar is the place for you to come. So let's jump in to Moderno to start with. This is an Argentinian steakhouse. The idea is you sit down, you can help yourself to the salad bar as many times as you like, and then you have these cards on your table. If you leave the card facing up green, they will keep bringing you meat, the likes of steak, pork, chicken, sausages, pretty much anything you can think of will be brought to you. If you are absolutely stuffed, you turn your card over so it's facing up red and they will stop bringing food to you. And if we jump into the restaurant on the right hand side of the ship as you're facing the restaurants, this is the famous Hagney's Steakhouse. The name does what it says on the tin. It does serve high-end steak in here, as well as a few other choice items. Really, really good quality, top-notch steak. Highly recommended. Not forgetting then, up on deck 16, you have the American Diner. This is also an a la carte restaurant. Very underutilized and never saw very many people in here at all. But you've got the menu here. So you can see if there's anything that catches your eye before we move back on to the other specialty restaurants on board. Two more four fee restaurants on board then and dropping down to deck six. First up, it's teppanyaki. This Japanese hibachi is a very popular venue, not only for the food, but also the entertainment of watching the chef juggle and entertain you as he cooks it as well. Really popular, really good food, highly recommended. And if you'd like to be the first to be notified about new comments dropping, when you subscribe, do hit that notification bell. You will be the first to know as things drop. And that leads us to another restaurant on deck six, and that is Le Bistro. This famous French cuisine restaurant is my personal favorite. The French onion soup is to die for, and they also serve delicious escargot. When your main or entree is brought out to you, it's also served under a cloche, so they reveal the food to you. It's all very theatrical, and they are very attentive in this restaurant as well. A very, very personal top recommendation from me. If you like your French cuisine, trust me, you will not be disappointed with this restaurant. And that brings us to the end of this look at the dining options available on board Norwegian Breakaway. I do hope you found that useful in making your decision on which venues that you want to visit whilst you're on board. Maybe you've got the dining package and you want to know which of the restaurants to use. Obviously, you are welcome to dine a la carte should you wish to as well. It's always worth booking in advance because these restaurants do get full up very, very quickly. So anything you can book in advance before you get on board, it's recommended. Failing that, I would book it on the day that you embark and as soon as you possibly can to avoid you missing that time slot that you want on a particular day. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please do consider subscribing. And that will allow me to drop new content and you'll be the first to see it if you hit that notification bell. If you've liked it, then give me a thumbs up and do ask your questions and comments. And I would appreciate it if you share this content also. Thank you guys. Take care. Until the next upload, goodbye for now.